The ad in Variety might have read like this. Wanted for hero in new television series. Sexy, dependable, well-oiled type. Must have photographic memory, supersonic capabilities, and a built-in computer. Crime-fighting skills a must. Now, what Hollywood star fits that description? I'm Dale Harimoto, and we're about to meet TV's high-tech heroes. Now, if they don't seem human, it's because they're not. They're machines. Cars, computers, and helicopters ride the TV airwaves in the latest action-packed adventure shows. Superman and Batman have been replaced by Automan, Blue Thunder, Kit the Wonder Car, and now Airwolf, starring Ernest Borgnine and Jan Michael Vincent. And how do the stars feel about playing second banana to a helicopter? I don't know. I gotta see how much Airwolf's getting paid. <laughs> the hardware is not the star. The people are the stars, and then the hardware is only incidental to the show. Airwolf might see it differently. This flying shark is a supersonic CIA attack helicopter that is invisible to radar. You certainly couldn't upstage that now, could you? In the show, it is affectionately referred to as she, but she is going to have a tough time competing with the sex symbol of the show, Jan Michael Vincent. I think that uh, a helicopter can only have so much personality. I mean, how many times can you, can you see a, a thing reveal itself from behind a sand dune, you know, and go like that? You know, it's, it's, it's really not what you base a show on. It seems that what we have here is a difference of opinion. And while I think we'd all agree that our high-tech heroes are exciting, they can also be a real danger to the cast and crew on the set. A little more to your right now. There. I, I anticipated about a 20-foot increase in altitude. Action, William. There comes the chopper. The utmost safety precautions are used around helicopters, especially since the tragic accident that occurred during the filming of the Twilight Zone movie. Since there can be as many as eight choppers in the air at the same time, every detail must be worked out with the director, the stuntmen, and the helicopter pilots before takeoff. Uh, Ernest Borgnai knows all about the dangers involved in shooting with a helicopter. Uh, as far as helicopters go, you do not go near a helicopter unless you know that it's absolutely vacant, that nobody's going to run it, that there are no machinery running on it at all. Uh, we had one of our directors one time who became so engrossed in his work that he almost walked into a tail rotor. And, you know, it was just through sheer willpower that we forced him back because he, he didn't know where he was going. And he says, what are you trying to do to me? And when he saw how close he was to that tail rotor, he blanched, naturally. <laughs> Crime fighters have always loved fancy gadgets. Just think back to the man from Uncle or Mission Impossible. But Jan and Ernie agree that it's not the machine, but the men behind the machine that's important today. How about 50 feet, give or take a few? It ain't the 50 feet I'm worried about, it's the give or take. The thing that I think is different about Airwolf is that they don't have the uh, token computer wizard in the back, you know, they've got Santini back there, you know, and Ernest is going, what do I push now? This is one of the reasons I took Airwolf, was because of the fact that we are not going around uh, wrecking automobiles and raping women and, uh, and, 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 and assaulting people, but actually we're doing good things, uh, things that in the end uh, bring out the goodness of people. And I think that that's what Airwolf is essentially about. Well. Airwolf and shows like it may just be a sign of the times, a sort of Terry and the Pirates of the computer age. But despite swooping blades, flashing lights, and crazy gimmickry, our high-tech heroes seem vaguely familiar. Sure, they don't wear a red cape like Superman or a white hat like Gene Autry, but we'd know them anywhere. They're the good guys, and good guys always win in the end. <laughs>